All right, all right, all right. How you doing? It is the radio guy, the doctor, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show coming to you each and every day right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Of course, our Instagram and our Twitter handle is the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. And, of course, the website is obnradio.com. And without any further delay, we'll jump right into today's episode. Once again, welcome to today's edition. Today's edition is going to be very short and brief. In fact, um, this is one of those reflective popper moments on today's show in combination with the world of athletics as we know it today. On last night... My baby girl was inducted into the National Honor Society. A very uh, proud moment for my wife and I as we watched our youngest child walk across that stage receiving her certificate and her pen of achievement. Uh, Of course, uh, the four core values of National Honor Society is service, knowledge, character, and scholarship. And it began to have me think on just how important athletics are to our student athletes for life after the game. And it it, it made me think we talked this week along about how some people were questioning the fact of if Pine Bluff or Valley was still worthy of being part of the Southwest Athletic Conference. I can recall the time when we had our challenges and and our woes at Prairie View A&M University. And the one thing that kept standing out with me was the number 78. During our time of struggle, 78% of our student athletes were still graduating and excelling in life and going on to be productive people as our motto at Prairie View is that we produce productive people and began to have me realize that whatever we're doing, whether it's 36 scholarships, 63 scholarships, 19 scholarships, you always strive to do the very best with what you have. And you don't use excuses for why you're not getting things done the way they need to get done. You just keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding, because whether or not they make it to professional ranks in athletics, they're gonna make it to professional ranks in the world of workforce and it was one of those sobering moments if you would and there's also a standard on doing things the right way and I'm not saying that all schools that are having success are cheating but it takes a special type of character to do things the right way when the temptation and the lure of cheating is all around us. There's an expression that if you're not cheating, you're not trying. But when you look yourself in the mirror and know that you've done everything that you could within your power, then all you can do is continue to grind. And if you continue to grind knowing that you are doing this legitimately, then in the infamous words, of our beloved Sam Cook, a change is going to come. In fact, the change is turning right now. And the one thing about change is that you don't see it. You don't experience it the way you would like to experience it. All you know is that if you keep grinding, then one day you wake up on the other side of that turmoil, the other side of that hell, the other side of that struggle that has truly defined you. Because one thing I can tell you from experience, it is easy as all get out to show up when you know you have a 70 85, 80, 90% chance of winning. But it takes a true champion to continue to show up saying, is this going to be the day? Is this the day that we're going to have our breakthrough? I'm going to keep striving. I'm going to keep grinding. People say, well, how do you continue to go and support and be a part of this particular institution? It's about the challenge of knowing that we're doing things the right way and knowing that one day it's truly going to pay off. Maybe I'm having a Drake moment. I'm in my feelings, and deservedly so. I want to 
use today's show as a sign of encouragement. Whether you're at Prairie View, Valley, Pine Bluff, you might be outside the realm of the HBCU world. You might be struggling with just everyday life. In the infamous words of Tupac, keep your head up. I am the radio guy, the Dr. Mike Prince. Remember, you can meet me daily right here on the Mike Prince Show. The Twitter handle, as well as the Instagram handle, is the Mike Prince Show. And our message line is 713-570-6736. Thank you guys that have called and chimed in about the uniform situations for the conference. We'll share that tomorrow if time permits itself. I must exit stage left, but until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.